it completely baffles me that back in the 1980s, nobody ever tried to make a high-concept action movie out of the Odyssey. Think about it. This is the era that gave us movies like, like Beastmaster and Conan the Barbarian, right alongside movies like Lethal Weapon and Die Hard. It seems like a no-brainer. Now, I know that Odysseus is not usually thought of as being a big action warrior hero like Achilles or anything. He was more of the, uh, the wise hero, the thinking man's hero. He was the favorite of Athena, the goddess of wisdom. Admittedly, Poseidon thought he was a real nobody. <laughs> but there's so much action in this story. Take the escape from the Cyclops, Polyphemus. Odysseus gouges his eye out with a white-hot wooden stake. Or when he's tied to his own mask to make it past the sirens, hot wax dripping down his ears, flailing against his bonds, trying to escape and swim into the rocks. The attempt to forge the strait between Skyla and Charybdis. Two, two, two sea monsters in one. And then there's the end. Odysseus finally makes it home after 20 years lost at sea. Everybody thinks he's dead. And when he gets home, he finds 108 men there in his house, eating his food, drinking his wine, and trying to take his wife. So what does he do? He grabs his son Telemachus, a couple of goat herds who were still loyal to him after all this time, disguises himself as an old man, sneaks into the room where his wife Penelope is about to hold a contest to choose her new husband. She's arranged this contest and says she will only marry the man who can take her late husband's bow, string it, and then fire an arrow through a series of axe heads that she's lined up. None of them can even bend the bow far enough to put the string on. Looks like the contest is all over. Then Odysseus, dressed up as a raggedy beggar, steps forward, grabs the bow, strings it like it's nothing, and then fires an arrow straight through all 12 axe heads. Let's see Martin Riggs do that. Now at this point, the suitors should be getting concerned. Kropikus, one of them says. But another one, Antinous, he just chuckles and starts drinking his wine. So Odysseus grabs the bow, lets loose an arrow, and hits Antinous in the chin while he is drinking. Then the suitors realize that Odysseus and his boys have locked all the doors. I'm not locked up in here with you. You're locked up in here with me. At this point, it pretty much turns into a Friday the 13th movie, with the suitors playing the role of the sexually promiscuous camp counselors. Remember that the next time anybody tells you that classical literature is boring.